Hello everyone, today is gonna to be epic because I'm gonna be showing you 10 different tricks, tips, and fun things you can do this summer. I've got a truck filled with different kinds of bikes and I'm joined with three others. First on the list is Tom Cardi, who loves a good jibberoonie. Doing it for the girls, we've got Cara Bill, who also loves to shred hard. We've also got Louis Pilgrim. He loves a shredder rooney, but also prefers to sit down and not do much. Let's get into the first one. So straight into number one then, this is how to doomer, or in English, how to ride down a stair set. Basically, you just do it. Like a lot of people have watched the vids and been like, whoa, that's so cool riding downstairs. It's literally the easiest thing on earth. You just roll like that, look. Make sure your weight's back a bit. Go slow for the first time and then you can send. Oh, here we go, first one. Now this is more of a suggestion than a how-to because, you know, it's pretty chill. You just roll down, but it's so much fun. But it's better when there's three of you in slow motion with classical music. Look at this. There we go, lovely. Get out there in the sun and doom it up hard this summer. Let's get on to number two. Moving on to trick number two, this is the death spin, which is one of my go-to moves when I'm hanging around at the trails and I fancy impressing my mates. You've got to learn this because there's no better move for it. This is the death spin then. So you're gonna wheelie along. Once you're balanced, drag that back foot, push down and carry on. Easy as that. That was a death spin, pretty deathly. It's now Cara's turn to show us a trick. So on to the next trick, and this is my version of how to endo. It's one of my jibby tricks that I can join in with the boys. So for my version of the endo, what I do is I roll in, I push my weight back to get the momentum, throw it forward by, and pull the front brake at the same time, do a, a little endo, release the brake and roll forward. It's actually super scary because it feels so unnatural going over the bars, but you've just got to commit to it and not go over the bars basically. It's now Tom's go to show you how to do it properly. Like Cara said, you want to rock your momentum back and then forward, but the secret for me to get a steep one is to really push your bum backwards and suck it up with your legs because that helps you get super, super steep. Or if you want to get ridiculous, you can really push the limits and go backwards on the front wheel. Obviously this takes a bit more practice, but it's a fun one to learn for sure. If you don't have a front brake like me, you can use this thing here, wedge it in here and do yourself an endo. But if your foot is actually called a foot jam and it is pure, pure fun for absolutely free. On to the next. Come then, Tom, on to the next one. What are you walking for? Would you? Oh, not your chain. Oh, well, at least I've got a perfect tip of how you can fix your chain when it's broken. Let's have a look. So while I forgot these, well, what you do is you cut your friend's spoke out. Wait, what are you doing? That's my back wheel. Well, yeah, I know, you'll be all right, won't you? Right, so what you do, you get the spoke and you're gonna do this. This is like a special tech trick. And you get this bit here, like that. Obviously you'll only have to cut the spoke once because you can keep this with you like on your seat or in your pocket or something. It's not gonna cut you that badly. And then you just sort of put this like that. And then that one like this. As you can see, with this spoke in there, it holds your chain together to make a nice workspace. You get your split links that you've taken with you after you've snapped your chain, click them together, put them in there with ease. And as you can see, 
dreams have become reality and the chain is fixed. That's the spoke trick. It's perfect. Realistically, you wouldn't actually do that on a ride out, but this is a cool little hack to put in your toolbox for when you're fixing your chain. It gives you a nice little workspace to deal with so you can get your little split links together and all of it sorted out nicely. Let's get on to the next one. On to number five then. This is a super good bodge that I saw in a German mountain bike magazine. And one of the guys had a broken lever. I've replicated it here with this one by taking it in half. And obviously if you break your lever out on a trail ride or a session, you're not gonna be able to carry on unless you do this bodge. You go to your toolbox, you get two cable ties, you get a safe object. I've got a serrated knife here. And then you just connect them together like this. As you can see, the two cable ties have held the knife perfectly so I can continue my session and still do skids and stuff, see? It is a bit of, you know, it doesn't look great, but the brake does work perfectly. And to be honest, if you're out on the trail, you could just use a twig as long as you've got some cable ties with you. So this is a very good option. And I'm gonna continue my street session with it now. Ah! Ah! This is the picnic. That was so, so bad. Like it was supposed, basically we wanted to make this that we could lay down on it backwards and it didn't work. So we thought a bench would be funny, but that's just, that's just the most ridiculous thing ever. But what we want to try now for the next trick as a bonus of this little stupid section is, this is a surfboard. So we got to bomb in down this little bit of hill here and see if we can surf the bike. So for this one, it's called the surfer. So what you do is you pedal in fast, hope that the surfboard's connected correctly, and then... Oh! It's gonna work! That's terrifying, but it's gonna work. Oh, for this fell off, this is rubbish! Ten tricks! Yeah, these are good, aren't they? What's the point? Should we just do some proper ones? Trick number eight, and this is the easiest way to enter the bar spin world. It is the pickup bar. The pickup bar is the safest way to learn the bar spin. As you could see from that clip, all I did was lift the front wheel, clamp those knees and spin the bees. It's low risk, but it also really teaches you the movements. Once you've got that dialed, you can then learn the bunny hop bar spin. For this one, you need to be able to bunny hop and bar spin Combine them together, there you have it. Let's go play in the skate park. Once you've got the bar spin dialed on the flat ground, it's time to take it to a few other features. And one of my favorite things about the bunny hop bar spin is it's so versatile. You can do this trick absolutely anywhere. There we have it, bar spins. What a trick. Have fun doing your bars. The next trick we're going to be looking at is the track stand, and this is a fundamental. No, no, no. Fundamental. So boring. It's the flare. This is probably one of the least learnable tricks without a foam pit. I mean, people have done it in the past, but it's going to be very scary for you. But I don't mind. I want to show you how to do it. So if you do get a chance to foam pit it up, you know what you're doing. So basically, a flare is the easiest way of doing a backflip because if you don't spin the full rotation, you just slide down. It's very nice. I'm going to show you one first and then tell you about it. So a flare is a flip air and an air is a 180. So when you go up for the flare, you need to have a good speed and you turn hard off the lift, almost as if you're going to do a 360, but you pull back like that and your head will spot the landing. Then you just go into a bit of a ball, then it works. I mean, so hard to say it, but really, if you had a quarter pipe and a foam pit and you pulled back and turned off the lip and looked, you'd do a flare instantly. 
probably the worst explanation of it, but the chances of you trying it because of this video is quite minimal. So what I'm gonna do is finish off with a nice basic maneuver that all of you can do, whether you will or not is a different matter. This is the backflip fakie. There we go. The easiest trick you can do at a skate park. What you do is you approach the quarter pipe at a good speed, make sure it's steep, almost vertical. You then pull back relatively hard, do a backflip, and then you're into the difficult bit where you have to roll backwards and 180 half cab out. But you'll be fine. Give it a go. So they were 10 tricks you should probably go and learn for summer. I especially liked the table one with the picnic. That was really nice. Where yeah. couples can enjoy scenery and all sorts of stuff. The surfer was also great for about one second. And of course this finale here was pretty easy and hopefully we'll get to see some of you trying it in the future. So on that bombshell, absolute ridiculousness, excitement and stupidity, that is the end of the video. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. That would be awesome if you leave some comments and it'd be sick if you subscribe. See you in the next one. Just go. <laughs>